Hello everyone. Thank you for coming to the class today. Please sit down for a moment. Relax for a moment. Don't rush all over the place. I have some special guests here today. Jeanette on my left side, Kelty on my right side, taking yoga for so many years already. Just relax for a moment. Close your eyes if you want to. You don't have to. Only if you want to. And then feel the breath coming and going, coming and going. Just relax, relax, don't rush. Close your eyes if you want to. Breathing gently in and out. Feel the breath gently in and out. Relax, the breathing will relax you. Gently in and out. Open your eyes for a moment. Now follow us if you want to, you don't have to. Only if you want to. Interlace your hands towards your heart. Touch your heart for a moment. Feel the beating of your heart. Keep the elbows up. Keep the spine upright, please. And turn your hands. Push forward a bit. Go high up if you can. Not everybody can. Adjust the neck a bit. Adjust a bit. Then bring your hands down towards your heart. Feel the heartbeat. And relax your hands down. Close your eyes one more time. Breathe gently in and out. Feel the breathing. And then one more time. Interlace your hands towards your heart. Keep the elbows up, don't collapse. Spine upright, please. Turn your hands. Go high up. Look, up. look a bit up now, if you can, if your neck allows you. Straighten the arms as much as you can, adjust the neck. Lift, stretch the upper body, and relax. Touch your heart, and relax. Drop the chin loosely forward. I'm going to adjust the ladies here today for the sitting posture. Just for one moment, I haven't said this. Can you open your eyes, Kelty? Interlace your hands as we did before. Bring them up, high up. Gently stretch the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. That was a nice lift, Kelty. One more time. Breathe in, breathe out. And slowly relax. Take your hands down towards your heart. And now I'm pushing the shoulder just a bit down. Is that okay, like this? And relax. Well done. Jeanette. I push you block a bit, okay? Jeanette, you're extremely flexible. Try to take the abdominal muscles in a bit. Stretch. Elbows are straight if you can, and then relax. Towards your heart. And one more time, up. Just adjusting the upper body a bit. Look straight ahead and relax. I'm pushing down a bit. Relax. Perfect. You could stand up, everybody, doing some standing exercises. Go into mountain first. We call it mountain pose. You're standing absolutely straight if you can. Not everybody can. Adjust a bit. Adjust your shoulders. Kelty has extremely good posture. How about Jeanette? Good posture over the years. Now lift your arms high up. 
elbows as straight if possible. I know it's very difficult sometimes. Lift from the hip up. Jeanette, from the hip up. And release your hands. Lift the shoulder up. In breath, drop. Go one more time, and up. High up. Now you interlace your hands in chest expansion. Posture improving. Lift the arms slightly up if you can. Turn yourself around, can I keep it? Perfect, perfect. Good posture. Jeanette, turn around a bit. Good posture. And relax and push out a bit. Push, push, push. Relax. Go to your kidney for a moment. Let's do this once again. Let the body grow, it says, okay? And up. And lift. Look slightly up now. Now interlace your hands in chest expansion. Perfect. Jeanette, perfect. Lift the arms slightly up if you can, only slightly. And relax and push back, push. And relax, go to your kidney. We are going to do a balancing pose. Just a simple tree pose today. Okay. Step onto the floor. Maybe it's a little more easy than the mats. Okay, it's up to you. you if you want to go in half lotus, please do so. Just don't push the foot into the knee. Okay. These are brain exercises. If you can count to 20, it says, your brain is perfect. We don't have the time here, but usually in class we count 20 or 25. Lifting the arms only if you can, only if you can. Easy does it. If you're on medication, I should mention this, often the balancing pose is more difficult to do. So please watch. Touch the wall instead. And then relax. Hands in front of your heart. And relax. Walk it out a bit. Janet, you okay? Do this one. Do the other side, please. Like I said, these are brain exercises. Give it a good try. Touch the wall if you're having difficulties. Doesn't really matter, okay? And adjust. Stretch the arms up only if you can, if the shoulder allows you. And then relax. And walk it out. Perfect. Bring your arms up one more time. Lift. Go sideways if possible into a forward bend. Reach whatever you can. Just go to the knee, bend the knee if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Into a forward stretch. Relax. Put the elbows to the bent knee. Let the back relax. And walk up. Now we are going to do a side bend, a simple one. One hand by your side, other arm up. Lift, go sideways. And coming up, go gentle, don't push, relax. Other side, you can put your hand by your hip, it doesn't matter really, down here, it doesn't matter really, and up. Lift as you, you put your hand by your hip. Yeah, it's fine. And sideways, please. 
strictly sideways. Often people twist in this side bend. There. See, healthy. Perfect. And relax. Now interlace your hands behind the neck. Open wide if you can. Not everybody can. Open. Take a breath in and out. Your chest is fully open. Your heart is open. Take a full breath in and out. In and out. And then lift the arm up. High up. And relax down to the neck one more time. You find this difficult? And lift up one more time. Look slightly up. And go into a left side bend. Coming up, go into a right side bend. Breathing normally all the time. Just follow us. Easy to do. And coming up. And relaxing. Relaxing. Take the shoulder up. Take an in-breath. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. One more time. Go high up this time. High. Breathe. And relax. Look at your feet once again, go into mountain, they call it mountain pose, and adjust. Stand tall, please. Now look over towards your left side. Neck movement. The net neck movement. Try not to move the shoulder if possible. It's often you're moving the shoulder anyways, but try not to. And then go over to the other side. Try not to move the shoulder. It's a neck movement only. And then go one more time. Left side. Relaxing the neck from tension. Other side. And then bring your head back to the middle. Look straight ahead for a moment. And then drop your left ear towards the shoulder. Follow us, please. These are very easy neck movements. Come up and drop the ear to the other shoulder. Try not to move if you can. So just don't. And come up. Go one more time. Left. Go right towards the middle. Now, if you're having a neck problem, you hold your hands. Hold your neck with your hands. And then go just once around, maybe once or twice. If there's no neck problem, you're fine without holding the neck. Just be always very careful neck movements. You want to release the tension from your neck. Now take the tension in. Neck problem, please hold the neck. And go maybe twice to each side, relaxing the neck from tension, or freeing the neck from tension, it says. Don't rush, don't rush. Don't go so fast. Many people go too fast. Don't. And when you're done, if you're standing, fine, close your eyes for a moment, please. Take a breath in and out. Gentle breathing. In and out. In and out. Now bring your hands forward. Follow me. Backs of hands. Open. Interlace as we did before into chest expansion. Can you see? Shoulder movement, taking the tension from your shoulder, lift the arms slightly up if you can. And put the chin down for a moment. Bring the head up. Keep your hands into chest expansion, please. Now look over to your left. 
See, when, you hands, when the hands are in chest expansion, the shoulder does not move. Then move over to the other side. Keep your arms up if you can. And go to the middle. Relax, push back. And relax. Lift the shoulder up, in breath. Out breath. Go one more time. High up, in. And relax. We are going to sit down onto the knees, if you can. If you, have, if you don't have a mat, take something for your knee, if you're having a knee problem. It will be done as such. We are going to exercise the feet. Very easy for today. Your toes will be exercised and your feet will be exercised. I'm just turning myself around a bit here. You're tucking the toes in for a moment. Please follow me, ladies. Adjusting the little toe a bit. And this is very difficult for some people and then stretch the toes out. Try once again, please. If you're having knee problem, put something, a blanket maybe or a cushion, whatever it's handy, tuck in. Adjust a little toe a bit. Usually it does not bend. Give it a good try. Circulation in your toes, please. Stretch out. Go one more time. Up. Adjust a little toe. Make a tight fist. Bring the arms high up. By your ear if you can. And then suddenly drop. You exercised your toes. You brought circulation into your toes. Now the front of your toe will be exercised. Many people, circulation slows down in toes first and then in fingers. Lift the left knee up a bit. Take hands into prayer position if you want to. Put hands to the floor if you want to. Entirely up to you and drop. Go to the other side, circulation in toes. And relax. And try to bring both knees up, hold the floor if you have to. And relax. Come forward. Stretch forward as much as you can. Come up. Open the knee slightly. Cat movement will be done. High cat. I'm just going sideways here. Go low cat. Go high cat. This relaxes your back. Low cat. High cat. Stay in high cat for a moment. Go low cat. Helping your lower back. Last time, up. Best movement there is. Helping your back. Low cat. Bring your back back to normal position. Slide back. Take fingers into tent position. Shoulder relaxes, wrist relaxes. Come up and shake out a bit. Shake a bit. The camel pose will be done today. Helping with anxiety and depression, it says in the book. Just watch us first, please. If you're having high blood pressure, never close your eyes. If you're having low blood pressure, never close your eyes, in this one especially. Coming up. 
sliding up. Can you go side twist? Can you go side twist, please? Open the knees a bit, make a fist like this. This would be your measurement. Make a fist and then stay in this position. And as you're opening, you try and tuck your toes in if you're having difficulties, reaching, if you're having neck problems, don't drop the head back. back. Tuck the chin in rather like I do. Tuck the chin in, chest opens wide. Breathing is made easy. Come up, relax, stretch forward. and stretch your back. This will be done one more time. If you're having neck problem, you do as I did. Don't drop the head back. Tuck the chin in. These ladies, you're dropping the head back, both of you. Okay, let's try and see. Jeanette, you have a very good back bend. Can you tuck your toes in? Yeah, okay. And give it a good try. and go. Kelly, okay, just move you a bit, okay? Okay. Just a bit, got it, hold it. You tuck your chin in or it up your head. Tuck it in, perfect. See, Kelly is tucking the chin in because she has a neck problem like I have. Many people have neck problems. Jeanette has no neck problems and her back bend is excellent. Slowly up, helping anxiety and depression, it says. Relaxing. Relaxing. High blood pressure, take it easy. You will relax like this. Jeanette, would you please do it? Relaxing, the head has to be a bit higher than the heart this time. For people with high blood pressure or for people with low blood pressure, the same. They are at the same. Head has to be higher than the heart because the blood is rushing towards the face, rushing into the eyes, into the ears. Be very careful. Always exercise safely but correctly at the same time. Coming up, let's do this once again, please. You okay with that one, Jeanette? Yes. Okay. Go sideways, please. Okay? It shows more. You, you just don't drop the head, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Coming up. I'm coming right in front of you, okay? <laughs> I'm not dropping my head either. Unless, Kelly, you're helping my head. <laughs> helping my head, guiding my head down a bit. Thank you. Good, perfect. Holding me a bit, helping me up. Thanks a lot. And forward, Jeanette. Thank you. Stretch out once again. Coming up. Take the left arm and the right leg up. Into cat position. Left arm, right leg up, please. Give it a good try. The floor is very hard here. Breathing. and changing over. Jeanette, you watch a bit because you had a broken wrist, okay? Just watch a bit. And change over to each side, please. Don't go too, too fast. Did you get your balance? Give it a good try. This is a more easy balancing pose. And try again.
and relax and again and go high cat high cat go low cat go high cat and low cat hold a bit for a moment bring you back back to normal position and sit slowly back fingers into tent means you're relaxing the shoulders you're relaxing the neck into pose of a child if there's no high blood pressure or low blood pressure into pose of a child please this relaxes all the internal organs for a moment at least unless you be in longer in this pose relaxing relaxing and coming up. We are going to end the class like always. I'm ending the classes in my in my classes always taking the hands into prayer position sitting upright. Take a soft breath in and out. Follow us if you want to. If you want to repeat quietly to yourselves I am healthy. I am strong. I have courage. I am healthy. I am strong. I have courage to survive and live. Again, thank you for coming to the class today. Namaste.